According to the United Nations, the adverse psychological, sexual and reproductive health consequences of violence against women and girls affect them at all stages of their life. Therefore, it is of paramount importance to give support and facilitate counselling for women who are experiencing violence. While working with a survivor of violence, one needs to keep certain values in mind. Violence should not be justified. Violence is never the fault of the survivor. The responsibility of the violence lies with the perpetrator alone. The survivor's autonomy must be respected always. When a survivor of violence approaches a counselling facility, a counsellor can begin with validating the experiences and feelings of the survivor, expressing empathy and assuring confidentiality. If the survivor is anxious, the counsellor should help stabilise her and calm her down by using some breathing exercises. Counsellors must do a safety assessment to identify situations that may cause further harm to the survivor. The counsellor can also initiate safety planning to help reduce the risk of future harm and to help women keep themselves safe. Counsellors should check the nature of support that the survivor requires in areas such as safety or cessation of violence, support for children, support for health and mental health related issues, intervention with the perpetrator or family, economic support, legal and police support, shelter, separation from or reconciliation with partner, etc and link her to appropriate services and resources. The counsellor should explore previous successful coping strategies of the survivor, help her identify and connect with her strengths and build on feelings of self-worth. They should help her to identify and use her support system such as family, friends, colleagues, community self-help groups, etc. When planning a follow-up, the counsellor must go over the following questions with the survivor. When can a follow-up be arranged? What are the logistics of the follow-up? Phone, video call or in person? How can the survivor be contacted? How will the survivor contact you? How regularly? Should the survivor meet you? How can the survivor reach you in an emergency situation?